Okay, so I was asked to make a Mahjong game, and prior to the request, my only knowledge of the game was what I saw in the anime Saki. So I've done some research since then, thankfully. Uh, but if I make a mistake, say something wrong, just let me know in the comments and we can course correct. So, first couple of videos will just be setting up the basic environment. So this is going to be done in the 2D environment. And we're just going to create the tiles and make them clickable. So the way we're going to do it is every tile is going to have two sprite images. One of the back of the tile where it's blank and you can't see what the tile is. And then the other ones will have um, one of each image. So uh, one tile will have this and this. One tile will have this and this. One tile will have this and this. And then uh, via a C sharp script, you can simply say which image to display. If this is in the center and no one has it, it's flipped down. You see this above the tiles in your hand. Then you'll actually see the image of the tile. So let's start by creating game object 2D sprite. We'll right click, choose create C sharp and we'll call this tiles we'll click on this and we'll call this tile 1 we might wind up naming each tile after the piece it represents uh, again like I said we're kinda gonna have to see what works because my knowledge of Mahjong is limited so let's add the script and let's go into this. Let's zoom in. So we're going to add two variables. So, so public sprite, and we'll call it back, and we'll call it back tile. And public sprite front tile so what we're going to do is every back tile will be the same so we'll take the back tile image and we'll put it there And we just need to change the default. There we go. So we have the back tile. And we're going to basically duplicate this and put the front tile on each and every one of them. But we need to do a couple of things first. Let's give them their physics 2D box collider instead of a trigger. That makes it clickable. And... Not sure if we're going to need it, but we can always delete it later. Uh, physics 2D, rigid body, we'll get rid of gravity scale. Not 100% we're going to need that, but we'll put it there for now. And now it's just a matter of making the tiles. So tile 1, we'll just start with the top here. And you just drag and drop it to the front. Copy it, paste it, change the name to Tile 2, take that, drag and drop it, copy, paste, Tile 3. So again, we're keeping the back the same because all the back should be the same, it's only the front that's changing. So I'll probably skip ahead because now that you've seen me do a few of these, um, 
it's really just kind of busy work at this point creating the individual tiles but we'll do a couple more We'll just finish up the last two numbers. Okay, so let's stop there, at least as far as making new tiles. And now let's slide these over. Now the code that I'm about to show you is really temporary. I just want to demonstrate that when you click on it, you'll flip the tile. Um, you probably won't actually have to click to flip. What we'll probably do is the tiles will be in the middle. You'll grab one, you'll drag and drop it into your, uh, your hand, and then it'll just automatically flip on its own. So, what we'll do So on mouse, oops, need void in there, sorry. So void on mouse down. And again, this is temporary. We'll probably replace this with a drag and drop function. And um, so all we're going to do is we're just going to change this, which sprite is showing. So get. component sprite renderer dot sprite equals front tile I think that should do it so void on mouse down is outside of update outside of start uh, it's a predefined routine so o m and d must be um, must be uppercase. So now what that means is when I click on this, it's going to cycle through. Well, it's going to change to the the alternate front tile sprite. Excellent. So it's not much of a game yet. It's just the beginning. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to show you all those. Uh, that's a lot of busy work. I will do it, of course, but probably no need to post a really long video. Um, so just keep copying the titles, tiles, paste it, change the name. Like I said, we might actually uh, come up with a permanent name, but for now we've got to call it something and we need to differentiate them. And uh, just drag the next image to the front tile. and rinse and repeat. And fortunately, the person who sent them, uh, they used a great naming convention. It's sequential. So as long as you keep copying the most recent one, the name of the tile, you should increase it by one. So like this is tile 11. So if I copy this, paste it, it's tile 12, and the name of the object should be tile 12. There we go. So uh, finish those up. Just keep copying and pasting. And I think that will do it for this first video. I'm going to do uh, more research, and like I said, I... Um, 
I need to... I need to do the rest of this too. So like I said, no sense sitting watching me just uh, uh, copy these and apply the image. So when I come back for the next video, that should all be done. And before we end the video, just go to save scene and we'll just call it we'll just call it level one that way our work is saved okay that should do it